the sales if we notice sales opening inventory and purchases are the same under both however closing inventory under fifo is 62000 so in both cases we are talking of 1000 units and under lifo the closing stock is 49000 this is because under lifo the closing stock consisted of the earliest inventories under fifo they consisted of the latest inventories this is the earliest under lifo this is the latest under fifo the cost of goods sold is 2 lakh 44600 under fifo it is lower than that under lifo which was 2 lakh 57600 under lifo the costs are the latest costs whereas under fifo they are the earlier costs and if we notice in our example the prices were rising the opening inventory was only 48 the first lot 50 then 55 60 and 62 therefore under rising prices under situations of rising prices fifo gives us higher profits lifo gives us lower profits fifo gives us greater closing inventory higher closing inventory lifo gives us lower closing inventory fifo gives us a lower cost of goods sold whereas lifo gives us a higher cost of goods sold in inflationary conditions this comparison has been summarized as below closing inventory under fifo is valued at the latest price whereas under lifo it's valued at earlier prices the cost of goods sold is valued at earlier price under fifo but valued at the latest prices under lifo the effect of inflation in case of fifo as discussed before we have higher profits whereas under lifo we have lower profits therefore the effect of deflation if there is no inflation in times of lowering rise falling prices we have lower profits under fifo and higher profits under lifo fifo is an acceptable method as per our accounting standards while lifo is not an acceptable method even tax authorities recognize fifo method but not fifo method